Hi friends, today we have a topic NVMRL Performance Index. Okay, actually this NVMRL Performance Index is a ranking of countries performance on the sustainability issues. So, NVMRL Performance Index is simply the ranking of countries performance on sustainability issues. So, that means the EPI is a method of quantifying and uh, numerically marking the NVMRL performance of a state's policies. Right. So, we know that every country will be taking measures to attain the sustainability development goals. Right. So, this NVMRL performance index is a method of quantifying and uh, numerically make, marking the NVMRL performance of a state policies. So, simply it is the NVMRL performance of a state's policies. Right. So, around 180 countries are there in the EPA. Okay. So, this EPA provides a data driven summary of the state of sustainability around the world because around 180 countries are there in the EPA, NVMRL Performance Index. Right. So, the overall EPA ranking, that means I said that around 180 countries are there. Right. So, each country will be given a ranking based on their uh, NVMRL performance. Okay. So, the overall EPA ranking indicates that which country are best addressing the NVMRL challenges. Okay. So, the overall ranking will represent or it will indicate, the, indicate that which countries are best addressing the NVMRL challenges that every nations are facing. Okay. So, the EPA offers a powerful policy tool in support of efforts to the targets of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals and to move society towards a sustainable future. Okay. So, this EPA will help to attain the sustainable UN Sustainable Development Goals. Right. And also it will move the society towards a sustainable future. Okay. Now, we need to know who is the authority to deal with the environment performance index. Okay. So, the environment performance index is a joint project of the Yale Center for Environmental Law and Policy that means Yale University and the Center for International Earth Science Information Network at Columbia University's Earth Institute. Okay. So, environment performance index is a joint program of or a joint project of the Yale Center for Environmental Law and Policy and the Center for International Earth Science Information Network at Columbia University's Earth Institute. Okay. And this EPA is produced in collaboration with the World Economic Forum. Okay. So, the EPA is also produced in collaboration with the World Economic Forum. Right. So, we said that EPA is the ranking of countries performance on sustainability issues. Okay. So, for this ranking, they use around 32 performance indicators across 11 issues categories. So, there are 32 performance indicators across 11 issues categories under the EPI. Okay. So, the EPA ranks the 180 countries on environmental health and ecosystem vitality. So, these indicators, 32 performance indicators, they will provide a gauge at national scale of how close countries are to establish the environmental policy targets. So, the EPA offers a scorecard that highlights the leaders and laggards in environmental performance and provides a practical guidance for countries that aspire to move toward a sustainable future. So, this will provide a practical guidance for the countries which are lagging to move towards the sustainable future. Okay. So, the EPA indicators provide a way to spot problems, set targets, track trends and understand outcomes and identify the best policy practices because the leaders in this NVMA performance index will be adopted some kind of methods or like that or policies. Okay. So, the laggers can adapt that kind of policies. For that, we can use this performance indicators. Right. So, the good data and fact based analysis can also help government officials refine their policy agendas facilitate communications with the key stakeholders and maximize the return on environmental investments. So earlier I said that uh, overall EPA rankings will indicate which countries are best in addressing the environmental challenges that every nation face. Okay. Now the recent EPA that means the 2020 EPA features new metrics that gauge waste management, carbon dioxide emissions from land cover change and black carbon emission that means all these are important drivers of the climate change. Okay. So, 2020 EPA is having these features also. Right. Now, this EPA was first established in or first published in 2002. Okay. And in 2018, India has been ranked in 177 among the 180 countries in the EPA. Okay. In 2018, India was the 177th rank. Right. So, in 2018, India was holding that 177th rank among the 180 countries in the EPA. But in 2020, India is in the 169th rank. So, here you can see a world map which is showing the uh, ranking. Okay. So, you can see that India is marked in white color. That means India is among the countries which are ranking from 145th rank to 180th rank. So, you can see that US, Australia, UK, 
so these countries are in dark blue and towards the last you can see india pakistan like that are in white color okay so india is ranking in 169th rank in 2020 uh, epi index now let's move on to the model question with reference to environment performance index consider the following statements first statement it's a method of quantifying and numerically marking the environmental performance of a state policies so that was the correct statement right so first statement is correct it is developed by the organization called global footprint network no it is not it was developed by the yale university and columbia university right so that's why second statement is wrong so you'll get the answer as a one only okay thank you